hey guys i'm erin and welcome back to another review i know it's been like forever since i've done a review but um i've been working and it's been a bit busy so i haven't gotten to go anywhere but we we'll start go out again we we'll start adjust you know back again right and guys don't forget to like comment share and subscribe i really really appreciate it and i'm really trying to get to a thousand subscribers and i'm kind of a ways off <laughs> so yeah don't forget to like comment share and subscribe so today i'll be reviewing worthy park estate and that's in and i hope that i'm pronouncing this correctly louidas louidas vale in St. Catherine and it actually started like cultivating sugar cane from like 1720s started to produce rum from like 1741 like trust me they've been around right so let me show you some clips with you guys right now So now that you've seen the clips, let's get started. So Worthy Park Estate, as I said, it's in Louisville's Vale in St. Catherine. And to get there, I traveled from Portmore and to get there, it was like an hour or so. To get there, I actually had to use Google Maps. But where I drove, I drove like through Spanish Town and I went on the Highway 2000. You can either go Highway 2000 or you can take Flatbridge. But me is a girl will not take flat bridge so i took the highway and paid the toll <laughs> um the toll was about 200 and something that i'm saying yes yeah, so i took the toll and then i took the turn off at like i think it was linstead and then from there and when you're on the journey to actually get to where the park estate you do have signs that would say over oh, the park estate next stop or something like that but you have signs present so you know say on the right um path so the journey itself wasn't bad i mean of course we're in jamaica you have a little bit of bad roads but for the most part like the roads were good like the roads were actually good i was actually surprised as to how good the roads were right so there's that when you're actually entering into where the park estate i don't recall the gate being closed you were able to just drive in um and when you drive in it's I got like a five minute drive up to where we actually have visitors parking. I remember it's a whole rum distillery, so it's a huge place. So you have a little drive to where you would actually go and park. Like a five minute drive. And where you park is where you also have the building where you'd go for like your welcome drinks, the pay, etc. So, so after I parked, you know, came out and went inside to the building that was, you know, right by it. So when you go inside, well, as you walk up, of course, the spray and with alcohol, coats like keep. Then you enter inside of the of the building. When you go inside, so alright for me, I had already paid through Gustazos, so there was a deal going on. It's no longer it's no longer going on now, though, unfortunately. But there was a deal going on um, where it was three thousand seven hundred eight something dollars. For two persons, however, the actual entry fee for where the park estate is, I think it's 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 two seven per person for Jamaican residents, and twenty five US dollars for um, non residents. So that would be like I think five thousand something for two. So you'd get like a little thousand dollar discount when you're using the resources, right? But I can buy KFC, so it's money. It's it's, it's good money saved. You get me? So when I went inside, I just showed the cashier my Gustavo's um, barcode and I got through and everything. And when you get in, you get a welcome drink. So the welcome drink that you get, it's a uh, rum punch and it was good. It was good. Um, 
and while you drink you, you actually just watch a video that talks about um, the, the distillery about how it works um, a little history about the, the distillery etc so you have a little video and after you're done watching the video now there was like a presentation to show how the, how the cane juice like it's like squeezed out so they came out with a little thing and like them roll it roll it roll it and the cane juice come out and then after that we got um some cane juice like in a cup to like taste which was quite refreshing actually and my boyfriend loved it but i saw more <laughs> like it was it was good um oh and just to mention the the drink that you get is complimentary by the way and so is the cane juice so after you're done with the cane juice now um you, you go back outside and you actually have a vehicle that transports you from that building that you're at where you park your car to where the actual distillery area is which i actually really appreciated because trust me if we're supposed to ever walk god go with me <laughs> honestly god go with me in the vehicle and then it carried us to where you have the distillery so you come off you know go inside of course we have a tour guide so she's telling us about the rum um the different pots that are used um how they work etc like i don't want to spoil the tour for you guys so yeah but basically it's how the stuff work what they have you know how much how much percentage alcohol um you end up with and stuff like that which was very very interesting um like personally i love rum tours so it was really really interesting um but yeah and we actually got to see like the chemist's room where they make all the worthy park um rums and rum cream and all of that and i actually learned on this um rum tour that worthy park was responsible for rum bar which i did not know i thought i thought rum bar was a separate entity on its own <laughs> but it's not um worthy park actually is rum bar so that was cool um you're 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 allowed to take pictures inside and things so i took some pics i'll show you guys um but yeah and then after that um went outside and then we went to where they actually package the the rum the other side where you have manual packaging and, and then the other side where the, where the machine actually packages the stuff right so um i went on a weekend i went on a Saturday, which it was still extremely good enough but the downfall to our weekend kind of is that you don't really get to see the production going on in front of it if you go during the week you'll get to see it but on, on the weekend you don't really get to see it but you do see it in the video at the beginning when you when you're inside the welcome area so yeah but if you go during the week you're able to see it like in real time in real life um it was very it was very very interesting um we had an amazing tour guide who answered so many questions because my group had a lot of questions. I also got to see where they store um, the rum and where the rum actually ages. We, we learned about um, what kind of what you call that? like materials to so really um, age the rum, like which barrel you have to use and all of that. And it was really nice, you know. I learned that inside there was dark because you know they don't want the place to blow up. But it was it was really good. It was really good and. The smell as you walk through the estate is just intoxicating. Like at first you can smell the molasses and then you end up smelling the the, um, the rum and it's just it's just nice. I love rum tours. Personally me love rum tour. Um but yeah and after that, so when you finish the actual tour of the property itself, you go back to the welcome area and you're able to now test the different types of um really pirate drinks. So Honestly, right now, I remember the order that I taste tested them in, but my favorite out of all of them was the rum cream. Like, the rum cream was really good. Um, I also do like the Worthy Pirate Select, I think that's the one. But I bought that from like before I went to the estate. I've really been hearing about Worthy Park and I was like, no, I have to try this. And the Select, I really do enjoy it. It's really good. I think that's the name of it. Um, I'll show you like pictures and stuff in this so you can see what I'm talking about. But yeah, the taste testing was really good. It was like a little rum class. You learn for, for um turn the glass on the side and you know how it look. You have to, you have to check it up and smell it, you know? Rum kind of sore. It was really good. I was very engaged. It was it was really really good. 
um but yeah and the rum cream was good enough for me to actually want to buy a bottle I, I didn't know but it was really good all right after the taste test and actually get some goodies i had to go and grab them real quick so and my thing is i loved the goodies that i got like in my head i'm comparing it to apple time because that's the one other rum tour that i've been to but like you see the size that i got because this is the one that i bought before I went to where the parent is saying, like, I bought, I bought this bottle in the supermarket. I was like, hey, I have to try this. I actually give you one at the room tour. Like, you get you get one of these. Which, this is really good, by the way. Like, I when you mix this with, like, tea or coke, it's good. So, I one of this, as well as you get a ready part cup, which is this right here, right? And I love cups. So, I was very happy to get a cup. So, I kind of like cups that show like, hey, I've been to this place, like, I love cups. So, I got this cup right here. And what, the, and, and, and what I also loved about Worthy Park was the fact that um, you're able to get a, like, a leave-in drink. Could I get you, I'm um, drinking this when you were leaving. They have a welcome drink and a leave-in drink, right? You can just tell the bartender what you want. I told him to give me something nice, and he did. When they say it was something nice to say, I was very nice for the rest of the day. <laughs> like I got something nice. Um and they give it to you in the cup. So you just give me a cup and you get the, the drink in the cup. Alright, so I got the cup and got this. And I love these treats. I feel like it's good. Like I'm very satisfied. Very satisfied. So yeah. But this one for real guys is pretty good. Pretty pretty good. So yeah so yeah guys but let me know in the comments like i'm thinking of comparing apaton and worthy park i haven't done an apaton review so i'll be doing that as well if you want an, an apaton review as well as if you want like an apaton versus worthy park um review get me like an estate review all right guys enough for the ratings so for accessibility slash location at four out of five and that's, and that's because it was very easy to find um especially like with the signs and with maps and the road wasn't bad so it was it was good and like even the even the the journey to the area like it was beautiful and like you're driving past the past the, past the sugar cane and you have i don't know the views was so beautiful and for security i give it a four out of five and that's because for the most part security was there i just don't recall seeing security at the entrance to be honest like i don't remember that but yeah security they boat there at the distillery at the welcome area like they're there so four out of five for that all right so for the price guys five out of five and i'm giving it that like i wish i wish i could have given more than five out of five i feel like it's a complete steal because imagine you're paying two seven per purse and you're getting all these things an amazing tour plus plus welcome drink plus leaving drink like it was like i feel like it's a steal i feel like it's a complete steal for customer service i was a five as well and that's because even like i i actually was, was was running late oh one thing i was supposed to mention my bad guys is that um you do have to book because i had booked for like 12 o'clock but i have work on saturdays from 8 to 12 and i was like uh, uh, and i was like running late so I had to call them and be like, hey, <laughs> can you like hold on for me please? And they were, they were very nice about it. They held on. Um, but like when I reached them, couldn't really hold on no more. So they had like started the video inside like a little bit, but they did hold on for me for quite some time. Even the tour guide, like she was really, 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 really nice. Like amazing. The bartender was amazing. Like all around good vibes. I was a five, honestly. But amenities, I was five as well. And that's because everything there was amazing like everything there was amazing even this how we go for welcome drinks like i thought it was beautiful like i love how i love how inside there is um i love that they have things on the wall like you know the history of the place and even just the place itself like thousands of five the ambience like what they have there everything about a five like we can't even 
I keep, I, I, like I was so pleased by where the part when I say things gonna understand. I was so 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 pleased. Right, so if I was a five for that. Alright guys, so how many worlds overall rating? So this is so it's a 4.6 world out of 5. Um honestly, that's probably the highest rating I've given on this channel. <laughs> um but definitely like trust me man, it was it was good. I recommend Worthy Park to anybody who will listen. Like my the whole experience itself was just really really good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Please, please, please. Alright, um, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. I will try to be more consistent again. It's kind of hard with work to be honest, and because it's kind of difficult to go places, but I'm trying to start, you know, going out again. I even, I even have somewhere to go today so i will see you guys next week don't forget to like comment share and subscribe bye guys